speaking of which, we do want to talk about the latest on COVID-19 here in Kern County. Another record high spike in cases here today. For the first time, Kern County Public Health reporting more than 1,000 new cases as backlog tests as far back as the first week of this month continue to show in a high number. Now, according to Public Health, there are more than 1,100 new cases, bringing the total to more than 11,000 cases. Now, in the past five days, that total number of positive cases has jumped by more than 3900 local officials said last week they expected a spike in cases due to a backlog in tests. Governor Gavin Newsom and state officials addressing the topic of backlog in test results around the state. They say some tests are taking about one or two days, but others are taking one or two weeks and they're aiming to reduce that weight. So that's exactly one of the key uh, points of focus of our testing task force is matching up where those tests are collected with the labs that can actually run them in a speedy enough time to get meaningful results to not just give the information to the individual who was tested, but to allow that to be actionable as it relates to potentially others isolating who are close contacts. Newsom added that they are advancing efforts for pooled testing, which would allow more cohorts of samples to be tested at the same time. This comes as Governor Newsom announced a record breaking number of new cases. An additional 12,800 people have tested positive for COVID around the state. California has now surpassed New York for most cases in the state, topping the 409,000 mark. Meantime, in the past four days, the death toll in Kern County had not seen increases, but today that changed. Deaths due to COVID-19 rose by 10 today, bringing the total to 115. And we want to take a look at how these deaths break down within ethnicity. So again, you can do this yourself as well. In the Hispanic population, they're still experiencing the most with 66 deaths. If we take a look at the white ethnicities, they have 31 deaths as well here in Kern County. If we take a look at the African-American population, eight deaths as well. And then as for the Asian community, two deaths. Deaths. Now there's also other deaths or unknown deaths. So other is one unknown has seven deaths as well. They are not category categorized at this time. Now, meantime, nearly 5000 people have fully recovered from the virus. Now, according to public health of the more than 11,000 cases, more than 5900 are isolating from home. Officials are also reporting nearly 95,000 or more than 87% of tests have come back negative. Of course, for the latest on cases and recoveries, you can always head to our website, turn to 23.com.